Smurfs 2, we're back. <laughs> we're back and we're, we're here with more information. Um, it's exciting because the first movie for Smurfs was to reintroduce you to the Smurfs and to, um, you know, the classic Peo comic and or cartoon, however you discovered it. And this time we really get to get into it. We get to get into the narrative and the storyline and the family. And there is that big hovering question, why is Smurfette the only female Smurf? So um, we kind of get into it. She's created by Gargamel, who is the villain, and uh, she's created as a Trojan horse of sorts. And um, all these people around me, it's really hard to focus. She was created by Gargamel as a Trojan horse to lure the other Smurfs from Smurf Village and to get their essence. Um, and then she, she was found by Papa Smurf, who made her good. So she's a little conflicted. She has a bit of an identity crisis because she, um, she, she knows that evil kind of exists inside of her, but she's mostly good. Oh, it's nostalgia. You know, what? it's like it makes you feel good and you go into this film and you uh, go through a very varied emotions. You are happy. You feel for them. Um, it's, there's a lot of joyous moments and uh, I think everyone can enjoy it and be fed, you know, just kind of emotionally in a way sometimes you go into the cinema and you are like you're like oh my god I'm gonna have a panic attack because it was too intense or it was really upsetting or it's emotionally disturbing here you're gonna come out of this movie and you're gonna feel happy there's a lot of blue going on today <laughs> people are walking around very blue all around the world